Your dog could hate the things you do, and you may not even realize it. The things that irritate dogs are different from the things that irritate humans. Generally, dogs dislike hugs, not being allowed to sniff, a lack of routine, and more. Even the most laid-back dog will hate some of the things we humans do, if they tolerate it, it's just because they love you or don't want to be dominant. Yes, certain things are unavoidable, like vet visits or grooming. However, there are other ways we can try to take it easy on our Pomeranian. No two dogs are exactly the same, so what one dog hates another dog may enjoy. Watch this video until the end, to learn 5 things Pomeranian dogs hate the most. 1. Hugging. It's really cute to look at photos of people hugging dogs, but the reality is not so comfortable. Many dogs do not enjoy hugs, especially from strangers. Placing your arms around a dog's neck or body may be perceived as a threat. Most dogs tolerate gentle hugs from trusted humans, but that doesn't mean they actually like them. A better alternative is to let the Pomeranian cuddle on his own terms and pet him along the back and on the chest, especially if you don't know the dog well. Of course, some dogs do love to be hugged. It's important that you know your own dog and understand his limits. Pay attention to their body language to help you understand how your Pomeranian feels when you hug him or her. If the palm leans away, averts his eyes, yawns, licks his lips, has a worried look, or shows other appeasement gestures, he's probably uncomfortable. 2. Getting in a dog's face and personal space. Much like hugging, dogs tend to dislike it when humans get in their faces. Think about how it would make you feel. Avoid putting your hands in a Pomeranian's face, towering and rushing towards them. This is especially important if the dog does not know you well. As an owner, if you need to poke and prod your dog for his own good, like ear cleaning or toothbrushing, go slowly, be gentle, and reward your dog with treats and or praise. If your palm exhibits appeasement gestures, shows signs of fear, or acts aggressive, back off. It's always best to be careful and prevent a dog bite. 3. Not letting your palms sniff and explore on walks. Dogs enjoy going on walks for more than just the exercise. Taking a walk outdoors gives your dog a chance to explore the world. Your pooch explores the world primarily through scent, then with his other senses, whereas most humans explore the world first through sight. Rushing your Pomeranian through a walk without allowing him to stop and sniff, and mark, is unkind. If you think about it, it's like someone dragging you by the arm through your favorite shop without allowing you to stop and look at anything. If it happens all the time, that would be pretty frustrating, wouldn't it? So next time you walk your palm, give him plenty of time to explore his environment. 4. Lack of routine and rules. Your Pomeranian may not seem like it, but he needs rules. If your dog is acting out, it's probably because you have not taught him the rules. Training is an important part of providing structure in your dog's life. A routine is important because your palm has an internal clock. Try to feed your dog at the same time each day. Establish an exercise routine too if possible. After a few days of structured rules and routine, you will probably notice that your dog is happier. Routines and rules make your palm's world more predictable and can actually boost his confidence. 5. Yelling and harsh punishment. No one likes to be yelled at or harshly punished, such as being spanked. Dogs may not understand the words we are saying, but they sense your emotions when you do it. If you have a sensitive or fearful dog, you may find that yelling and harsh punishment actually upsets or scares your Pomeranian. Fear does not equal respect, and you will not strengthen your relationship with these methods. Even if your palm is aloof or ultra-happy, you will probably find that yelling and harsh punishment don't help in the long run because your dog becomes desensitized, meaning he does what he wants anyway and you just keep repeating yourself. Positive reinforcement is generally the most effective type of training. To correct unwanted behavior, you can try redirecting your dog towards a preferred behavior instead of yelling or smacking him. Train your dog to drop it or leave it are great ways to stop them from eating or chewing something he shouldn't. You can teach him come or watch me to get his attention when he is doing something wrong. Be sure to reward him when he complies. Dogs are more likely to listen to you when you issue a request rather than a non-specific no or stop it, 